Welcome back. Continuing the news. The two major political parties are waiting with bated breath after day one of the magisterial recount for St. Catherine Northwest. The process seeks to check and finalize the winner of that constituency in the general election. The People's National Party won the seat after the EOJ's preliminary count, but that is being challenged by the JLP. In spite of their landslide victory, 48 to 15 in the September 3 election, the JLP filed for a magisterial recount in the St. Catherine Northwest constituency. Following the initial count Thursday evening, the EOJ did a customary recount, which again showed the PMP's Hugh Graham securing 5,283 votes to the JLP's Newton Amos 5,261, a margin of 22 votes. The JLP says it has filed for the magisterial recount, firstly, based on an assessment of the rejected ballots and also as the count is too close to accept without a challenge. Attorney Tom Tavares Finson is representing the JLP candidates. I'm here to participate in the recount. Um, other lawyers are being led by Mr. Lance Clark. The PNP's legal team is led by attorney Oswes Senior Smith. The application for a magisterial recount saw all boxes being taken to the St. Catherine Parish Court Thursday morning under heavy security where the process was started. But Mr. Graham and his lead attorney say they are not worried as they expect the numbers to remain in their favor. The results would either be the same or my numbers go up uh, based on what we see and based on the recount that was done. So I'm feeling quite confident that, um, you know, nothing won't change. This is just, you know, some excitement and I guess that's, you know, the part of the, the course. So far there are some changes. The learned parish judge, her honor, Mrs. Israel Lane, is presiding over the proceedings and she is taking particular notice of the deemed rejected ballots. And so far there are some changes. I think that there is an attribution of three to one candidate and four to the other. I won't tell you who specifically got what number at this time, but that is my recall. Counting ended at 5 p.m. on Thursday. At that time, 24 of the 118 boxes had been counted. This means that the process will go into a second day come Friday morning. Tom Tavares Finson says that is no surprise. No, absolutely not. Two or three days, maybe four. The PNP says it would be seeking a magisterial recount for the Clarendon Northwestern seat. The PNP candidate, Richard Azan, lost to the JLP's Philip Henriquez by 83 votes. The party says it decided to file for that recount after 1,107 ballots were rejected in the counts after the general election.